Hi everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to sneak in a quick out of schedule video just to teach you guys how to use iFont. Uh, it's a great app for installing and managing your fonts on your iPad. I downloaded it about a year and a half ago. I'm 99% sure it was free, but there may have been like a small donation request or it, it was free or like really cheap. Uh, but I strongly recommend it. I'd pay five bucks for this thing easy without that and an eye. It is life changing. So iPhone is this little icon here, blue F with a little dot. It looks like this when you get into it. So the first thing that you do when you need to install a font or when you want to install a font is find that font, which can be so much fun. So I went to good old Creative Fabrica because that's where I go. I currently do not have any active subscriptions with them. Um, so I went in and I went to their free section and I chose free fonts and all these fonts are free. You can download them and they're cute. Look at this one. Spooky Sunday. Definitely want this font. So let's download it. There we go. What else looks good? Oh, look at this one's got mustaches. Those are cute. Okay, so let's download. We'll wait for the little pop-up and hit download and then you watch your little arrow for it to bounce and that means it's complete. Here, this one looks cute. It's got little kitties. Oh, it's a monogram one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip that. Crystal. Come on. Those are pretty. Oh, I want the font. I don't want the crystals. I don't like the ones that give you images for your fonts. There's a cute coffee one for you coffee lovers out there. I personally like tea and it's still morning for me. I'm doing an early morning video for a change so I have my tea. This one's interesting. It's so tempting to just install all the fonts, um, but there is a little bit of a drawback for having too many fonts because it's hard to find the one you want and you can search forever. I'm sure you've all seen me if you watched my videos do like the random scroll uh, to pick a random font. But there are 98 pages of free fonts on Creative Fabrica and their commercial use allowed. So it is worth a look. It's a fun way to make your planning spreads more interesting, a little different from each other. Here, let's do this one last one. Fabulous. That's cute. So we'll download and watch for the little arrow to bounce. So now we need to do a little bit of work um, before we start. So I've got these three fonts here. I'm just gonna tap each folder to unzip it. So these ones just have one font in the folder. Sometimes you'll get one that has two or three fonts. If you have a choice, take the OTF. See this says .OTF, there's sometimes .TTF, and I think there's even a third one, but you almost never see it anymore. So I want these three. Now that they're unzipped, I'm just gonna delete the zip file. So there's two ways you can install a font. You can do it in a batch or you can do it one at a time. So we're gonna do both. So I already have this folder with a bunch of other fonts that I've moved into it. So if you're gonna do a batch install, you want to have a big folder full of them. So I'm just gonna move two of these into this folder. So now I have one folder with 12 fonts and then I have a single font. So that's all my prep work done. Now I'm ready to install these onto my iPad. 
So I'm going to go into iFont. I'm going to hit this little paper with a green plus at the top. And I'm going to choose this little single font. So now it's there. You can't tell, but it's there. If we go to S for Spooky Sunday, you can see it here. And it's pretty cute. So it looks like uppercase and lowercase alternate between images and fonts. So if we hit install, <clears throat> this website's trying to download a profile. So you want to say allow, and now it's downloaded. We close, and we want to go to the settings app. This takes us for a link straight to the settings app. And you can see here it says profile downloaded. So here's Spooky Sunday Regular, and we're going to say install. Now it's going to ask for your iPad password. So I'm going to cover this up, super technical here, and type in my password. It says it's not signed. It's a warning. It's okay. Hit install. Hit install. Um, and now the profile's installed. So if we go to Good Notes. Let's find that new font. And it was called Spooky Sunday. This is not as cute as I thought it would be. That does not look like Spooky Sunday at all. They're cute little images. I was hoping for it to look like... Um, sample did. Oops. Okay, so if you do caps locks, you get the kind of bubble letters, which is cute. And then you can just lowercase in a couple. All right. Anyway, this isn't to rate the Spooky Sunday font. This is how to install fonts. Okay, so that's how to do one font. Now, is that, hmm, it still says to install. Weird. Okay, we're going to install all the fonts now. So now we're going to do a batch of 12. And you can do a batch of like, I think 99 or something. Like I've done tons at once. So I hit the little three dots on the top here and I'm going to say select. And then I'm going to select them all. So you can see there's a check mark on all 12 now. I'm going to say open. So now if we scroll through, we should see the odd font that still needs to be installed. And this weird spooky Sunday is still showing up. I don't know about that. Anyhow, so... Now we have about 12 fonts here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to tap this group and sort, and I'm going to select installed. And I'm going to go away. So now all the fonts that I have that need to be installed are here. So, and I can take like a quick look at them and see if they're ones that I actually want. Okay, this is the mustache one. I thought it would be cool mustaches. It is not. So I'm going to delete that. Some cute bubble letters. So I'm just going through each one. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. And we already have this one. I don't know why it's showing up again, but let's see what happens. Okay, so I've got all my fonts here. <clears throat> And I'm going to take the group so I hit the little check mark and it selects that whole group of not installed fonts and then I can t poke down here and say install now you can see we have a whole pile of fonts at the top and we can say next and now it's doing the same thing it did as when we had the single. 
we can tab open settings and we have our profile here and there's all the fonts that we're installing so we'll say install and again I'm going to put in my iPad password and it failed <gasps> that's new I haven't had that happen before I wonder if it's because I have that one should have known let's Untick this one. And now I'm going to say install and next. And we'll just try this again. There we go. It was weird with that spooky Sunday. It was a disappointing font, not as cute as I thought it was going to be, and it caused me all those problems. But that's okay because you guys got to see the problems and now you know how to work around it if you get the same one. So we're going to install these fonts and now they're there. So if we go to our good notes, let's... Uh, what was one of those new fonts we did? One started with M. It was like M-A-I or something. Here it is, Masiku. So here's one of the fonts I just downloaded. Super fun. See how easy it is to install fonts. And if you are switching from an old iPad to a new iPad, <clears throat> you can... Uh, download, let's turn that off, you don't need to see all my messages, um, what was I going to say? So, so now we have no, this one's still sitting here, you know, I'm just going to delete it so it doesn't cause me any problems, I don't know why it's being weird. So we have all of our fonts, you can select them and you can export them and you can do it as a zip archive or individually and this is how you can back up your fonts. So you can export them, let's just do it, 390 fonts, I have a problem. So what is today? August 2022 font backup, not fint. Font backup, done. So now I'm going to save them into here. I don't know how long it'll take. I don't know how much memory fonts use. Let's see, if it takes too long, we'll stop because I've showed you all the important stuff. But if you're getting a new iPad um, and you don't want to lose your fonts, you can do this as long as 390 fonts don't crash it. Um, I have a problem. I need to clean up my fonts. But you can export them all into one folder and then you can, on the new iPad, you can import them all. I can't remember if they copy over automatically. I don't think they did. I think you have to manually do your fonts. We'll give this another minute and see. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's not bad. 390 fonts. Let's go look at the folder now that we just made. I was just about to give up on it. Where's my font folder? Fonts, August font backup. Look at that. Just like that, I've exported all my fonts into a folder. And now, pretend we're not going to do this all the way, but if I was on my brand new iPad that had zero fonts, um, that folder saved in my files, so the files are in your iCloud, so they would automatically transfer over. We can go select, select, select all, and then we can install them all onto the new iPad just in like a couple really quick steps. So. Um, we're gonna 
not do that. Uh, but I do want to say iFont is a fabulous font manager. Totally recommend. Uh, that's how you install a font. It's so quick. Here, let's time it. Let's do one more. Okay, so we're at the 15 minute, 10 second mark. Start to finish. Let's go find a font. So we go. Oh, I turned my internet off. Okay, we're timing a font install and then I break everything. Okay, 15.30, let's see, let's do bad dog. A playful decorative font. We download the playful decorative font, download. Did the arrow bounce? It was so fast I didn't even see it. So now we go to our downloads. We don't have a font. Okay, this quick timing of fonts is really just not working for me here. Y'all saw me, listen to me y'all, I don't sound Canadian, do I? You all saw me download this, right? We see it here. Let's try again. Download, download, arrow bouncing. Folder, unzip, we have our little OTF. iFont, add. Really? Really? It's just trying to make it take as long as possible because it knows I'm timing it and I just hit the wrong thing. But it seemed to be working. I guess you might not have to unzip it, but sometimes there's multiple files in a folder. Um, so you may want to. Okay, bad dog. Did you see it? Bad dog. Oh my goodness. I just, I'm done. I'm done. Why is this not working? Bad dog. OTF. Bring it in. Oh, I know why it's not working. Because it's at the top. Because it's uninstalled. We only need one of those. So we're going to say install, allow, close, settings, profile downloaded, install, password, install, install, done. And we have bad dog. So even with um, all of my not enough caffeine <laughs> moments, we're like under two minutes to find, download, and install a font. Not bad. This app is amazing. And this app is, or this app, this font is really cute. Can you see the little paw prints and little bones in the top half? I love it. So there you go. That is how to use iFont to install your fonts. Super fun. I will see you later tonight uh, for my regularly scheduled planning video. Um, but I do hope this is helpful to anyone who needs to install some fonts. Talk to you later. Bye.